Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will be showing you how easy it is to install a clip-in ponytail as well as how easy it is to get those sleek smooth edges on fleek. So if you're keen on checking out how I achieved this high up to continue watching and if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So I'm looking a bit ratchet at the moment. I just applied some eyeshadow so I can look a bit decent for you guys. No foundation needed as my skin has cleared up so beautifully. My skin is busy evening out all thanks to Bioderma Pigment Dye. Bio, there is a video down below. So if you haven't checked that out, feel free to check it out. Now today's video is quite simple. I'm going to be speeding up through most of the video as I know you guys are more into the faster or up paced videos and not too long videos so all you're gonna need is two pom poms i've only got one a hairbrush a toothbrush and then i've got some styling gel but if you can get edge gel that will be a bonus but the styling gel that i'm using is by perfect touch this is known as the mega hold volume and shine it's quite affordable can be found at most pharmacies, pick and pay, checkers, shop right, basically anywhere. And then the hair piece that I'm using today, it's known as the Fondo Braid. This I purchased at a little hair shop in Ottery. It's actually in Ottery, Chinatown. It looks like this. This is the clip in hair extension. I wore this last year, or this year actually, to the Sun Mate. So I will be doing another video on different ways to style this little baby. But today I'm just doing something simple, something basic, so you guys can get the idea how to use a clip-in ponytail. This changes just the look so damn quick. But without further ado, let's get into it. So to start off, we first need to get those baby hairs out and ensure that they're nice and smooth before sleeking them out with our styling gel. So I'm going over this with my flat iron. This is the one by Cloud9 on the highest heat just to get those baby hairs nice and smooth and sleek, all those bumps completely out of the hair. So for the next step we're going in with our little toothbrush and we're just combing out those little babies that we're going to be using as edges but I'm just using this as a guideline so that I don't get too much hair out before applying the actual product. Next I'm applying some of that styling gel to the back of my hand as it just makes it easy instead of dipping the entire toothbrush into the container and I'm applying a generous amount of that to my edges before styling them into shape. Now I like to do this step after or before I've done my makeup, that way the sticky residue that the gel leaves behind, you end up not wiping away your foundation as once you have your foundation on, you're just going to look like a whole hot mess by removing the foundation around your hairline. So I think it's best to do the step first and then just pat your foundation in between those areas where your edges are. While that my edges are in place, I'm going to be brushing out the rest of my hair and applying styling gel to the rest of my hair and smoothing that out with a brush. Try not to get the brush onto your edges as you'll just mess up the entire process and you'll have to start all over again. And because there is product on your edges already, it's just going to make it so much more difficult and sticky and difficult to work with. So I'm smoothing that out with a brush. And I'm trying to get the exact height that I want for this look. I like doing a high bun when doing this high top look as it just makes the look completely kind of Ariana Grande. I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name correctly. So 
a page where you've got your position correctly before applying that pom pom so i'm just smoothing it out again before putting it into a bun just to make sure that i've got all those little hairs in as my hair is cut in layers and it's quite short at the back so i'm wanting to get everything into one ponytail as we're not wanting any flyaways next i'm just going over the rest of my hair with oh i'm having a paranormal activity over there so i'm going over my hair with a toothbrush just to ensure that if there are any flyaways i can smoothen that out before the gel actually sets into place Next, I'm going in with my hairpiece. You see the little drawstring, you need to open that up. And then on either side of the extension, there's this little combs. So those combs, we are going to position on either side of your bun. And then pushing it gently in so that it can be nice and tight and has a good grip onto the bun. That way you'll know that your hair will not come out throughout the day. Once you've gotten that in and secure, secure it finally by pulling that drawstring and wrap it around your ponytail. Going in with my bobby pins, I think I bought this pack for 200 or, or pack of 200 for about 20 rand at a store known as Bling in N1 City. So I'm just stacking that drawstring in to my ponytail so that there is no delta lines of false hair. So I normally secure it with about two to three pins and I smoothen out the hair with a brush before styling it into place. Then I will be taking a section of that ponytail, smoothening it out and wrapping it around the area where we place that clipping ponytail just to cover up that drawstring and to of course cover up the look of your bun so we're wanting it to look as natural as possible and then of course thereafter we will be securing that piece of hair with bobby pins i have used about three or four in this tutorial as i'm wanting to ensure that my hair is going nowhere as you can see i'm quite pleased with myself as my ponytail is completely secure and will not go anywhere throughout the day I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If there's anything you're wanting to see on my channel, let me know in the comment sections. Until next time, goodbye.